The ancient 24th day of the ninth month will occur on the window of January 10th through the 12th, 2018, in the Northern Hemisphere. That's a reference to Haggai 2, 18 through 23, which will be a watch until 2025. The new moon of January 17th, 2018, will mark the start of the ancient 10th month in the Northern Hemisphere and the ancient 4th month in the Southern Hemisphere. The new moon of February 15th will mark the start of the ancient 11th month in the Northern Hemisphere and the ancient 5th month in the Southern Hemisphere. And the new moon of March 17th will mark the start of the ancient 12th month in the Northern Hemisphere and the ancient 6th month in the Southern Hemisphere. The turn of the sun and moon will be complete on the full moon of March 31st, 2018. So the new moon of April 16th will mark the start of the ancient first month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient seventh month in the Southern Hemisphere. At that point, the ancient Sabbath day will change from either Sunday evening to Monday evening or Monday evening to Tuesday evening. April 16th will be the Feast of Trumpets in the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere, Passover will be on the window of April 29th through May 1st, and Unleavened Bread from April 29th to May 6th. The Feast of Tabernacles in the Southern Hemisphere will be from April 30th to May 8th. The new moon of May 15th will mark the start of the ancient second month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient eighth month in the Southern Hemisphere. Noah's reign will start on the window of May 31st to June 2nd in the Northern Hemisphere. The new moon of June 13th will mark the start of the ancient third month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient ninth month in the Southern Hemisphere. Ancient Shavuot will occur on the window of June 18th through the 20th in the Northern Hemisphere. The 24th day of the ninth month in Haggai 2, 18 through 23, will occur on the ancient calendar in the Southern Hemisphere on the window of July 6th through the 8th. The new moon of July 13th will mark the start of the ancient fourth month in the Northern Hemisphere and the ancient tenth month in the Southern Hemisphere. The new moon of August 11th will mark the start of the ancient 5th month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient 11th month in the Southern Hemisphere. The new moon of September 9th will mark the start of the ancient 6th month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient 12th month in the Southern Hemisphere. The turn of the sun and moon will be complete by the full moon of September 25th, so the new moon of October 9th will mark the start of the ancient seventh month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient first month in the Southern Hemisphere. At that point, the ancient Sabbath day will change from either Monday evening to Tuesday evening or Tuesday evening to Wednesday evening. October 9th through the 11th will be the ancient Feast of Trumpets in the Northern Hemisphere Atonement will occur on the window of October 17th through the 19th, and ancient tabernacles will occur on the window of October 23rd through the 31st. In the Southern Hemisphere, Passover will occur on the window of October 22nd through the 24th, and unleavened bread from October 22nd through the 29th. The new moon of November 7th will mark the start of the ancient 8th month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the ancient 2nd month in the Southern Hemisphere. Noah's reign in the Southern Hemisphere will start on the window of November 23rd through the 25th. The new moon of December 7th will mark the start of the ninth month in the Northern Hemisphere and the start of the third month in the Southern Hemisphere. Ancient Shavuot in the Southern Hemisphere will occur on the window of December 11th through the 13th, 2018, and the ancient 24th day of the ninth month in Haggai 2, 18 through 23, will occur in the Northern Hemisphere on the window of December 30th, 2018 through January 1st, 2019. For more information about the ancient biblical calendar, please see the links at the end of this video and also at indigoflower.net.